So we have prayed for the nations. We have prayed for the nation of India. Now third uh, section of our prayer, prayer for the uh, Google generation. Uh, let's pray. Uh, the Balia Pur block in Dunbar district is now popular for what? Christian hospital, coaching center for IAS, YouTubers who earn a lot of money, or coal. The Balia Pur block in Dunbar district is now popular for a Christian hospital. Okay, the answer is there. YouTubers uh, in uh, YouTubers, they're all from a particular block in Bihar, uh, in Dunbar area of Bihar. And Outlook magazine talks about it. It says, uh, Viral Village. Uh, it's an explosion of creativity and talent in India's digital interland. It also pays, it says. Uh, this article has uh, stories of ordinary villages, you know, some of them. Uh, okay, Sanatan, Savitri, uh, and then it talks about a Manoj who earns two lakh per month because of his YouTube videos. And he's from this small village, small block in Bihar. Uh, earlier, I was a viewer, today I'm a creator, says Manoj. Uh, nobody in Baliapur knew about YouTube or that it could be, become a source of income. I was the first one to figure it out to earn money for the platform. Uh, I was working in a cyber cave in 2016. I started making YouTube channels. Uh, you know, stories like this, stories like this. That also speaks about the, the reach of YouTube. Uh, this is an article that uh, has really uh, set me thinking. But we need to pray, uh, which means we can reach even some of the smallest towns in India uh, without the gospel through the digital space. Uh, and the possibilities are immense. So I'm, let's pray for all the youth uh, of rural India, rural India across uh, in, in some of those small villages and towns and I know there are many churches uh, like that and I've preached it's been my privilege to preach to some of them who come for the state level youth camps and uh, district level youth camps and if they will give content and they know what the, the language, the style the, the vocabulary of the youth of their area if they can give the gospel if they can even run online churches and then of course, everything can't be done online, and then that will become a uh, that will give them leads for an outreach. Uh, something amazing can happen. So let's close our eyes and let's pray uh, that God would uh, revive the youth of this churches in small town uh, India, so that they will use channels like Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and other media to give content, the gospel will be shared and and the fellowships will be established, churches should be established. People will return back to the Bible, we'll get grounded in God's word. Let's believe that. And one of you can pray for this need. Uh, who's going to go? We have, on, we have only three dedicated participants in this prayer. Uh, so, Father God, go, yeah, okay, go ahead, Brother Johnson. Yes, we come unto you in Jesus' name, oh Father. Lord, we thank you for the youth, oh Master. Lord, our country is one of the biggest uh, population having a great number of youths, oh Father. We thank you, we thank you for the blessings, oh Father. Lord, we hear that about the rural youth, oh Master, using the media to generate revenue. Lord, innovative way and lot of things from Master. We thank you for the grace. We thank you for your wisdom. We thank you for the knowledge of Master that you have given, oh Father. Lord, we pray. We pray for the church, oh Master. Lord, let the pastors, let the leaders, Lord, identify those people and identify those medias and Lord, uh, guide them to utilize for your kingdom purpose of oh father lord in this day india has 
uh, is reaching to the nook and corner of father even a layman a poor people has a uh, android mobile of father lord but but we christians are not utilizing all these medias and we are we are we are lord lord we have a preconceived notions and lord we are shut for the for this thing of innovatively reaching the people is the youth of father lord help us lord help us to open our eyes and see the opportunities lord help the rural people help the church lord especially the pastors the congregation members the key leaders of father open their eyes of father give them the understanding to use the uh, media in a proper way to establish your kingdom of father lord we see lots of people lot of youth are like a stray dog stray like getting away and uh, addicted to the uh, wrong things of father lord we pray for the revival lord we pray for the word of god to lord penetrate their hearts of father let the youth be uh, strengthened and built upon your word of father we pray father in the, in the coming days lord help us to see your kingdom built among the uh, youth of master in Jesus name we pray amen amen as well johnson has prayed and uh, brother johnson lives in uh, bihar is that correct uh, brother you live in bihar uh, you live in jharkhand bihar yeah bihar 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 you live in bihar you serve jesus there and uh, it's nice to have someone from bihar pray for the youth from bihar and other small towns uh, wonderful and as the word of god says in first corinthians chapter 9 verse 22 First Corinthians 9:22. To the weak I became weak to win the weak. I became all things to all people, so that by all possible means I might save some. So that by all possible means I might I might save some. Even as we have prayed, as Brother Johnson has prayed, our God is going to energize and revive the youth of all the small churches, and uh, because the internet penetration is amazing, as Brother said, through the Android phone. a uh, cheaply available android phone uh, through the geo network and uh, as i drove down drove from lucknow to the nepal border uh, geo was working seamlessly i i had one hour phone calls with my wife no interruption no disruption um, so because of the geo network and because of the 4g networks and because of the android phone and through this means the gospel is going to be preached as we are praying let's believe that through creative ways and so many new channels are going to come up where the gospel will be proclaimed the word of god will be explained uh, that uh, that that the name of jesus will be lifted high even through these youtube channels not just uh, uh, all those silly dances not just things that are bordering on porn and semi porn uh, but the word of god we believe God is going to through YouTube is going to go, and uh, lives are going to be changed. We believe that, and uh, people are going to be delivered from soft porn. People are going to be delivered from uh, hardcore porn. People are going to be delivered from other bondages. And our last prayer point for uh, for the Google generation is talking about uh, addiction that uh, we know exists in our country. Let's go to that uh, last prayer point. Okay. uh what costs rupees 10 to 15 crore per kg in mumbai uh ganja and of metafedron heroin cocaine how you pronounce it okay it's cocaine and again this is also a cover story in the week magazine i have it here uh heartbreaking cover story india a massive market for global drug syndicates uh and then the the summary in page 2 of this magazine uh this is a week magazine april 24th 2022 says india's illegal drug industries atma nibharatha is unmatched by any other sector so our self reliance atma atman nibharatha or how are you pronounce it in hindi uh, i understand the meaning self reliance they say the self reliance that you know that we all seek or or 
what our government wants and many sector rightly wants we want to be you have to be self reliant but it, it this article says this cover story says it is unmatched in this sector in, in which sector illegal drugs and it's talking about the price of all the drugs and i just mentioned uh, that a kg of cocaine in mumbai costs uh, goes for a price of 15 crore and uh, ganja for a particular amount uh, meth hedron for a particular amount heroin for a particular amount and the other drugs as well uh, we just need to close our eyes and pray and i'm going to pray right now for this uh, need uh, uh, lord we pray for all the youth in india there are uh, so many of them lakhs of them perhaps who are addicted to drugs they are there in the campuses they are there in the road sides there are people who grow these crops there are people who uh people who sell these a lot people who use these we pray for all the the manufacturers the 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 the, the sellers and the consumers we pray lord that they will come under the conviction of the holy spirit that their body is a temple of the holy ghost a lot that lord that they would should not be use your creation to destroy their own body a lot lord yes there are these plants are uh, plants that you created but at the same time lord your word clearly tells us through that story lord in mark chapter 5 of a man who was cutting himself with stones yes lord even that stone you created that stone that that man used to cut himself you created it but he used that to cut himself so you've given us common sense you've given us wisdom through your word to know that that intoxication is not what you call us for a lot the only intoxication that you call us for is as we read in proverbs chapter 5 18 through 20 intoxication in our in 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 our in, in sexual excitement with our spouse be intoxicated ever by her love that's what you say in proverbs 5 18 through 20 not through a prostitute not through a porn star but through your wife that's the only intoxication you call us to but not any other intoxication including intoxication to drugs including intoxication through lord uh, maybe through uh, lord masturbation through porn watching or whatever be that sinful pleasure or lord i pray that people will repent even as we are praying lord even as uh, lord vivian and dan and brother johnson and myself are praying right now we pray that lord people will be delivered from doing drugs or lord even in campuses in top campuses there are people who lord who use drugs and i pray for all the hostel wardens and all the lord uh, uh, the the people taking care of students lord i pray that they will lord um, they will uh, they will with a fatherly heart with a parental heart reach out to these youth and, and seek to lord deliver them rescue them lord uh, Lord share the rescue the message of rescue which only comes through the gospel of Jesus Christ because you said in the gospel of John chapter 8 verse 32 you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free oh lord and i pray that people will know that they are created for addiction oh lord people will know that they are created for addiction but they have to choose which addiction oh lord and you created us for an addiction to you to be a bond slave for you as apostle paul discovered in romans 1:1 to be a bond slave Uh, a slave where there's no chains but you still love the master so much that you always want to stick close to the master even though there's no chain even though there is no rope tying you to the master you still want to stay close to the master because the master means so much and you our master died for us on the cross you shed your blood i thank you lord for this news and i pray that this news will be proclaimed to all hostel dwellers Lord across in every campus from St Stephen's in Delhi to Lord to IIT Chennai Lord not very far away from where we live right now oh Lord every campus this news will be proclaimed and all drug addiction will disappear in in Jesus name will be gone in Jesus name Lord we pray that out of drug addicts right now even people who are drug addicts right now out of them people will repent and be preachers of the gospel like Nikki Cruz lord his story was told in the movie Cross and the Switchblade 
like Nikki Cruz, they will Lord repent of their sin, put their faith in Jesus, overcome drug addiction, and start preaching Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we thank you. We thank you for this time of prayer, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we could pray for the nations, uh, Lord, including Sri Lanka, the nation of India, price rise, and Lord, uh, and other important matters, Lord, joblessness, Lord, and also. Lord, for the Google generation, uh, we pray that you'll continue to be with us as we meditate your word, Lord. As it's, uh, uh, Lord, we want to do that in an unhurried way for the next uh, 20 minutes or so before we pray for the final. Uh, we pray for our tensions and close this prayer meeting, oh Lord. Uh, we thank you in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs>